Hi, I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald, and I'm with Green Slate One Incorporated. And tonight I'm going to be joined um, by Mayor Edwina Perkins, and who's going to be calling in the show for our calling guest. Um, Mayor Perkins, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Mayor Perkins. Hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald, and you are live on CanTV.org, CanTV Channel 21. Can you hear me, Mayor? Yes, I can. All right, before we get started, let me just tell our viewers a little bit about Green Slate One Incorporated, my sponsor. Um, and this is a live interactive show on Can TV Channel 21. We're also streaming online at cantv.org backslash hotline. And tonight we're going to find out more about the very successful, powerful mayor of the village of Maywood, Mayor Rena Perkins. Thank you, Mayor. And for the next 25 minutes, you're more than welcome to join the discussion by calling in to the number that's on the bottom of your screen. And you can call in with a comment, question, or concern, or even to ask Mayor Perkins a question. And of course, I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald, and I'm brought to you tonight by Green Slate One Incorporated. Now, Green Slate is developed uh, by an ex convict, and their programs are devoted to assisting ex convicts. They've got several programs, including re entry programs. Feeding the Families of Englewood, they've got uh, Kirby's Kids Camp, and last but not least is the Community Service Program through the Circuit Court of Cook County. So if you have to fill some community service hours, please feel free to call Greenslate. And let me show you their information. Uh, there's Greenslate's information, and once again, it, their phone number is 217-600-1846. Uh, their website is Greenslate Institute for Justice. Uh, Weebly.com and uh, their email is Greenslate Institute for Justice at gmail.com. And of course, the executive founder is Ziff Sistrunk, who was also tonight my technician and my executive producer. Thank you, Ziff. Now, um, Mayor, are you still with us? Yes, I am. All right, Ma Madam Mayor. Should I call you Madam Mayor or Madam Perkins? Mayor Perkins? Mayor fine is, is fine. Whatever you want to call it is fine. Well, I was hoping you could tell some of our viewers a little bit about yourself, Mayor. Well, my name is Edwina Perkins. I'm in my fifth year as mayor of the village of Maywood. Uh, prior to that, I was a trustee for eight years. And uh, we, the village of Maywood, is moving forward to uh, attempt to get some things done here in our community. We uh, have just opened a, a new train station there on uh, on Fifth uh, and and Main Street, and uh, we're looking to uh, get something else going for that. Uh, the uh, railroad is working with us to make that a dream that we have had here in the village of Maywood. We're also working on other projects, getting some of our some of our alleys done, and we're looking to do some streets improvements here in our community, and we're looking forward to uh, filling some of the homes that are empty to uh, help do something about our tax base. So that's just a few of the things that we are attempting to do here in the village of Maywood. Of course, we're looking for commercial, and we invite anyone that wants to come and take part and make this a better town. That's what we're looking forward to. Well, Mayor, so let me ask you, what we're trying to do. What, um, Mayor, what drove you to, to seek a career in politics, and especially why the village of Maywood? Perhaps you can tell our viewers what drove you into politics. Well, I've uh, lived in the village of Maywood for over 50-some years, and uh, I have got involved in following my children. I have three adult children. And I uh, started out with them in kindergarten and moved forward all the way to college with them. And then I retired from my job, and I got involved in the uh, trustees here, actually being active in the community, following, uh, standing on my mother's footsteps is what I'm doing. I'm just following her footsteps. She did not run for any office, but she was active here in the community. So uh, I'm just involved and want to see the community get better. Fantastic, Mayor. And if you had any advice to give to young women that are also considering a career in politics, what advice would you give them? Well, first of all, the first thing you do, I would suggest that you do is get involved and start and get involved with any some organizations. I got involved in the school board. I was uh, 
teach past PTO president and from that uh, move forward, and that's why I wound up running for trustee. So getting involved and serve the community and being active on some kind of programs, something that's going to be helpful to your community, a start with your school, be on activities, uh, be active, and uh, strive to be the best that you can be, and definitely always strive for to be the head of your class. So, Mayor, you started your political career after retiring, is that right? Yes. Wow, that, that is amazing. Was, was there anything that, 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 that was a starting point for you? You just said, gosh, I have to fix this? Or what, what was the driving force? Well, that was the driving force. I saw things that need to be changed and need to be redone, need to be fixed, and that's how I got involved in saying, well, you know, the point is, can I do something to make a difference? And that's what it's all about. Can you as an individual do something to make a difference in your community? Well, let me ask you, Mayor. When you took office five years ago, were there any problems left over from the prior Mayor uh, Yarborough's administration? Yes, it was. But uh, it boils down to you do what you can do and you don't worry about the other things. Well, let me ask you, were there any impediments to you becoming mayor of Maywood? Um, such as um, you, you, you're out there and you make the best of what you have. Because I didn't have a board that was for me. I was by myself. So, so five had, years ago, I, you I took on the party and you yes. won. So yes. Good for you. That's why I find your achievements to be remarkable and laudable, and I congratulate you, and I'm hoping to give some guidance to young women out there that also want to pursue a career in politics. But you started when you retired. I'm like, didn't you want to go to Florida like most retirees? No. Well, no, I got involved, like I said, in the community, been involved in the community because I'm an alumni of 89 and alumni proviso ESO. There were things that I saw that used to be in the community that I felt we could return to and make it better, and that was a, a driving force for me. What could I do? Well, to... let me ask you. Well, let's get down to specifics. What sort of difficulties did you have in cleaning up the problems left by former, uh, the, your prior prede predecessor, the prior Mayor Yarborough, when you took office? What problems were left in office that you had to clean up? Well, first of all, we was left with uh, when uh, he came in office, he had a $6 million deficit, and wow. uh, we had AAA credit. Wow. Well, and, well let me uh, ask you, Mayor Perkins, and I hate to step on you here, but I read an article that uh, during the Mayor Yarbrough's administration that the police cars didn't have gas. Is, is that right? That's correct. Wow. That's correct. Like I said, there's things that took place that should not have, and that was, like I said, when he walked in, though, he had $6 million in the bank and triple A credit, so there was no reason for the village of Maywood to be in the condition that it was in. And after eight years under him, he walked out the door with $15 million in the hole and uh, high taxes. Well, Mayor, I was going to ask you about that. Um, my understanding is, do you now have a, a tax increment financing in place for the, the village businesses? Say that again. Do you have a tax increment plan in effect in the village of Maywood that's helping turn around the businesses in Maywood? We're working on that. That's fantastic, Mayor. And also, I want to show our viewers this. And here's another picture of Mayor Perkins. Mayor, I don't know if you can see this. I, I don't know if you have a computer monitor in front of you. Uh, no, I don't have that on. Well, let me tell you. Uh, I'm showing the viewers a picture of you along with a service woman who looks like they're from the village of Maywood. Do you have any programs that are geared towards uh, veterans? Well, the, the Heinz has a program with veterans, and we had uh, worked with them on a couple of events that they had because they had the uh, uh, program with the, uh, uh, the, oh, excuse me. They had a pro couple of programs, and we did connect with Heinz on that because we're trying to look for, hopefully we can get a home I'd like to see us with a home. I have three years left. I'd like to see the village of Maywood have a home for the veterans here because my husband was a vet. He was in the Army. So, like I said, I would like to see that and also... Uh, Mayor, are I, you also working on, like, a teen youth center for the village? 
I would very much like to get that done. Like I said, my, my problem is that uh, I don't have the support on the board that I need. I, you have to have four votes, and I don't have that. So without, without that, you still have to do what you can, and that's what we have been working on, things that we can accomplish without having the four votes. Well, let me ask you, is one of the members on the Board of Trustees the former mayor? Yes, he is. He was, Would that uh, be the vote you're talking about? Yes, that's one of the votes that I do not have. So perhaps the former mayor is uh, an impediment to you, your progress with the village. Would that be a fair assessment? Yes, that would be a fair assessment. Um, but Mayor, I also read an article about you and that you're doing something about the brown fields in the village of Maywood. Congratulations. Perhaps you can tell our viewers a little bit about the brown fields and how you've overcome this problem. Well, we have one uh, business on Ninth. They just did an extension with the brown field program. So what I do is I reach out to any organization that will help the village of Maywood. So I attend the meetings that come up and it's called being at the table and anytime there's an organization that's doing something for the village of Maywood, I make sure that we have someone at the table because you cannot do anything unless you're sitting at the table. All right, Mayor, on the brownfields, are brownfields, does that refer to like uh, businesses that have uh, ceased operating and, and that's just empty land? Is that what a brownfield is? I'm not really sure what that is. No, what they're doing the, with the brownfield program, mm -hmm. they're coming up with ideas that a business can reach out, because like I said, the business on Ninth Seaway is the name of the organization. He reached out, and there's some property next to him, so he was able to purchase that property through the brownfield, and what they do is they go through and clean up the property to make sure that it's in order. That's part of what the brownfield, and you have to reach out to that organization. And were you able to get funding for the Village of Maywood from the uh, EPA for this Brownfield project? Yes, that's, that was what we were able to do. That's fantastic. You got federal funds for the Village of Maywood. Congratulations, Mayor. And Thank now you're you. developing the, these former properties that might have environmental issues. You're, you're remediating all these problems? Yes, that's what we're reaching out and attempting to get done in this real program. And like I said, you have to be at the table to get these things done, and we have been at the table here in the last uh, years that Mayor, I've been here. Mayor, I think we have another caller. Can you take time for, for a question, Mayor? Uh, caller, do you have a question or comment for Mayor Edwina yeah, uh, Perkins of the Village yes, of Yes, a comment. A comment, yes. Hi, what's your comment, caller? I'd like to congratulate her on the job that she's doing. I'd like to congratulate her on the Mayor, can you hear our caller? Mayor? Yes, yes, I can hear, and thank you very much. Our caller congratulated you on the fantastic job that you're doing, which I also echo. Congratulations, Mayor. I'd give you a standing ovation if I could. You're doing a great job. Caller, do you have any other comments or questions for the mayor? No? Uh, Mayor, is there anything else you want to tell our viewers, especially our ex-convict viewers? Because Green Slate, of course, is concerned all about ex-convicts. I don't know if there are any ex-convicts in the village of Maywood, but do you have any uh, job opportunities in, in Maywood for ex-cons? Yes, and what we have is a young lady by the name of Princess Dimpsons have a staffing outfit, and uh, you can call her. I apologize for having a number off the top of my head, but it's Dempsey Staffing. She's out of Westchester, and you can call her office. Uh, Dempsey, D-M-P-S-E-Y staffing, and you can call her, you can go and get interviewed in Westchester, and believe it or not, she has some jobs that you can, they're, they're uh, actual jobs, you can interview with her like Thursday and like Monday, you will be working, and also she has a program where she will drive you to the job and pick you up. So Dempsey staffing is one we're working with to help our uh, ex-offenders get these jobs. Now, now, Mayor, I was also wondering, since you, um, your predecessor, Mayor Yarborough, was in office for quite a long time, is that right? Yes, well, he did eight years as mayor, well, and when, now he's done uh, uh, two, well, he's in his second, he's in his first stage as trustee. 
Well, let me ask you, Mayor, when you were running for office five years ago, uh, did uh, the, the Mayor uh, Yarbrough at that time offer any challenges to your candidacy? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It goes with the ter when, I, when I say that, that goes, that's part of what politics is about. You are challenged, and I was challenged. So, so do you think Mayor Henderson, Mayor Yarbrough had anything to do with uh, challenging your candidacy? I, I can say that and repeat it. Yes, I know for a fact that, that he did. Well, Mayor, can you give any advice to our, our young viewers who, who might be women considering running for office? Uh, uh, can you give some indication about what's involved in this challenge process that you successfully overcame? Well, what you have to do is, first of all, you go out and get your own signatures. And I mean that you physically knock on these doors and fill out the forms, get them turned in. You first have to get on the ballot. If you uh, do not get on the ballot, of course, you can't run. But if you go out here and get your own signatures, if, say, if you say you need 500 signatures, you want to get at least 1,000. So when you challenge, they can ex take off X amount of the signatures and say that they're not good, but then you can go and get information to support the fact that these people actually signed your petitions, and that's what it is. It's, it's a fact of overcoming what's in front of you. So, Mayor, it seems to me like it's a really costly process and time-consuming. You have to go get signatures, and then you're telling me you have to go get them again? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, isn't this a, a great barrier to women uh, entering the political arena? Yes, it is, but you have to believe that you can do it, and then you have to do the best you can and make sure that you feel that you have the ability to do it, and that's what it boils down to, you, that you have the ability that you know that you can do anything. Exactly right. I believe in you, Mayor. I think you have the ability, and I think you can do anything. I am so excited to have you on the show. I was wondering, um, you're also doing something about the lighting in the village of Maywood. Can you tell our viewers what, what achievements that you're hoping to get accomplished in that area? Yes, well, we've got uh, three, we got LED lightings that we, the village of Maywood, have gotten that uh, support from. ComEd have come through and put brand new lights in each one of our alleys, and that was for free. So we was able to get that done, and now we're working on LED lighting for every uh, light that's here in the village of Maywood. So we've done so many streets, and we're in the process of finishing up the whole town. Uh, Mayor, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but other, uh, should I say, cities are plagued by violence. Um, I was wondering, is that a problem in Maywood? And if so, what Maywood, and, and under your mayorship, what you're doing to combat that? Well, we do have a problem here in our community, but we are working on uh, getting uh, tax units in. We're get, working on, well, we got a uh, change in our police department. We don't, we have uh, that uh, it's, training is there. We're getting training, and then we're getting uh, new radios, and we're getting new cars. So we're in the process of doing what we can to make a difference here in the community. We have community policing, which meets twice a month with the citizens to find out if there are any problems that we can uh, address. Now, we are having some gang activity, but we're working on a plan to uh, eliminate that by working with Cook County Sheriff's and uh, anybody that uh, uh, we have a program with the Broadview and Bellwood and that uh, we can work together to uh, offset some of these problems. And is, is that why you're working on, on a teen youth center, Mayor? Say that again. Is that why part of your wish list for your, your, uh, this term in office is to create a teen youth center for the village? Yes, I very much like to get that done. Like I said, if I could get the support, then I can get it done sooner, but I plan to have it done by my three years. Well, let me ask you, Mayor, uh, what's next for you and under your tutelage? What, what's happening in the village of Maywood? Well, what's next is to get us a grocery store and a sit-down restaurant. That's my first objective, and just to do something about our taxes. Well, what, what is the problem with the taxes in the village of Maywood, Maywood? Our taxes are high. Like I said, after uh, we had the uh, eight years and the uh, 15 deficit, uh, 
Our taxes went up, of course, because we t took property off the tax rolls. So now we're working on getting these homes occupied. Once we do that, then that will bring our tax base up. Well, let and me ask you, Mayor, does, getting, the May the, does the village of Maywood own any real property that they're going to be selling or auctioning to interested parties? We do parties? have a few. Right now we have First and Lake, uh, which was an opportunity. We had Wind Trust wanted to come and do something, but uh, the board that was left with me uh, voted against that opportunity, and then we had Ninth and St. Charles was sold, and then we had another problem there. But right now we got a couple uh, business that are looking to come here into the village of Maywood, and we recommend anyone to come out because we're in the middle of everything. We're close to uh, downtown. We're close to the uh, western suburbs. So this is a perfect spot here in the village of Maywood, and we just got to continue to go forward. Well, Mayor, I, I'm from the, the unincorporated part of LaGrange, and we've got a thriving downtown, and I'm hoping that the village of Maywood can also have a thriving downtown. Perhaps you can tell our viewers a little bit about the programs that you're trying to get put into place to help the Maywood, the village, become a thriving business mecca, just like LaGrange is. It's a charming little quaint village on the western suburbs. Okay, well, we have a program uh, by the name of Bridget Lewis Flags, and she have an EGI program, and she's working on bringing commercial here in the village of Maywood. So we're looking forward. She does a five-mile five run in June, and anyone can participate and be a part of it. But we're looking forward to getting that program here in the village of Maywood. Uh, Mayor, we're also going into a hotly contested election cycle. I'm sure you know that Cook County Assessor Berrios is being challenged by uh, two opponents, Andrea Ralla and Fritz Kage. And I was wondering, uh, what sort of relief can the uh, Village of Maywood residents expect to relief as to their property taxes? Well, we're looking forward to taking a look at that program once they elected. Once the person is elected in, we will be addressing that department to see what we can do to get something better, because we are uh, assessed high and should not be. Well, Mayor, I read a, a recent news article about some, uh, I think it was a southern village that was, uh, I believe, unfairly taxed disproportionately. Do you think that also affected the village of Maywood? Oh, yes, by all means, we are truly over-assessed. Over um, what steps are you trying to take to, to help the village residents with their tax bills, Mayor? Well, that's it. We're going to look forward to, once this new election comes in, we're looking forward to sit down with a meeting with them and find out what we can do to get something done about this. Fantastic. Mayor, I think you're doing a fantastic job for the village of Maywood. And, you know, I, I'm so sorry to hear that there's an impediment being uh, I guess essentially a holdover on your board of trustees. That's really, it seems like they're an impediment to progress. I mean, is that stymieing your ability to move the village forward? Yes, it is. But you still, even though you have that in front of you, you still move forward and do what you can to make it better, even though you have a problem. Mayor, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you being on the on the phone with us. I wish you were here in, in person. I'd, I'd love to have you on camera. I think you're doing a great job for the village of Maywood. And um, are you? Do you have any parting words words for our female viewers who might be interested in getting into local politics? If there's anything I can do to help you, you can call me at uh, the village of Maywood. I'd be more than happy to. But like I said, just start believing in what you can do, and one person can make a difference. Fantastic. And caller, do we have any callers or questions for, for Mayor Edwina Perkins? Hearing no questions, you know, audience, I forgot to introduce myself, and I, I do apologize. Let me just give you my little opening blurb, which I normally always give. And thank you, Mayor Perkins, for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, for the record, I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald. I forgot to give you my introduction. I'm sorry, this is late. I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald. And there, here's my little koala bear. And you can see he's on skis because my name's Kowalski, like uh, the koala on skis. Now, some of you might be tempted to call me Kawasaki, but it's actually Kowalski. And to help you remember that it's Kowalski, I've got my little koala here to help you remember that um, he's 100% qualified. And back to me. Uh, we're engaging in a hotly contested election cycle, like we just mentioned. 
And there, we're hoping in the weeks coming forward to have be joined by any number of candidates, including hopefully candidates for the governor we had last week was a gubernatorial candidate. We're hoping to be joined by other candidates for office to tell our viewers what they can do for the ex-con viewers here that are watching Green Slate Incorporated. And again, I'm Jan Kowalski McDonald, and I'm here for Green Slate One Incorporated. And uh, thank you for watching and participating in today's show. My guest tonight on the phone was Mayor Edwina Perkins, the uh, sitting mayor of the village of Maywood. And thank you once again, Mayor Perkins, for joining us. And tonight, my technician and executive producer has been Ziv Sistrunk. And thank you, and have a good night.